The temperature at which the vapor pressure is equals to the atmospheric pressure is what we refer to as the boiling point and that is 3.1 so from here on let's go ahead and take a look at 3.1.2 what does the equation say which of the compounds a b or c is mainly in the liquid phase at 100 degree celsius my grade 10 learners can answer this question but let's take a look and see what is happening so we have organic compounds a b c and d but we are only concentrating on a b and c as our question instructs so the question is which compound of these three is mainly in the liquid phase at 100 degrees celsius right so it must not be a gas at 100 degrees celsius it must not have boiled at 100 degrees celsius so let's take a look compound a the boiling point of compound a is 78 degrees celsius so at 100 degrees celsius we are above the boiling point of compound a so it is already a gas at 100 degrees celsius because it boils at 78 same is true with compound b compound b has a boiling point of 46 degrees celsius so at 100 degrees celsius it is above its boiling point so it has turned from liquid to gas already so c is the compound that is in the liquid phase at 100 degrees celsius if we take a look at a b and c so the answer here to 3.2 uh well 3.2 and not 3.1.2 3.2 is c c is at the liquid phase at 100 degrees celsius because it has not yet reached its boiling point okay explain the difference in the boiling points of compound a and b that is for three marks so let's take a look at compound a and compound b and see how they differ well they are all haloalkanes but they differ in branching the structure of compound a let's take a look one two three one two one two third carbon fourth one two and chloro and then this is a let's take a look at b right at b we have one two carbon hydrogen 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 and then hydrogen well let's just leave the dash there and then we have another carbon that serves as a branch and then carbon hydrogen hydrogen chloro so this is compound b as you can see in compound b we have this branch here and then in compound a we don't have a branch so the difference in the boiling points of compound a and b is because compound a is less branched compared to compound b so compound a is going to have more surface area stronger intermolecular forces and that more energy is required to overcome the internal molecular forces in compound a that is why we see a higher boiling point compared to compound b because it is less branched okay so that is 3.3 what about 3.4 and 3.4.1 let's go ahead and take a look consider the boiling points 75 degrees celsius 120 degrees celsius and 126 degrees celsius which of these values represents x the boiling point of compound d so let's go ahead and take a look at compound d and see if we can make sense of this compound d seems to be an aldehyde let's take a look carbon three hydrogens carbon two hydrogens carbon two hydrogens carbon oxygen one hydrogen so compound d is indeed a aldehyde but compound c is an alcohol right so the boiling point of compound d must be lower than that of c because aldehydes we have dipole dipole and then in alcohol we have hydrogen bonding and hydrogen bonding is way stronger than dipole dipole so x should be less than 118 degrees celsius at least so take a look at this we have 120 so this can't be correct because d must have a lower boiling point compared to c because d is dipole dipole and c is hydrogen bonding and then this is also not true because it cannot be higher than that of alcohol so the only thing that makes sense is 75 degrees celsius so 3.4.2 we have 75 degrees celsius so x makes sense to be 75 degrees celsius 
Well, 3.4.2 says explain, and we've explained that. Now, let's take a look at 3.5. 3.5 is quite an interesting one. Uh, I had to take some time and think about that. The atmospheric pressure is now changed to 83 kilopixels. Well, under normal circumstances, we have 101 kilopixels. I think 101.3, something like that. But I know for sure it is around 101. And now it has changed to 83 kilopixels. Now it is changed to 83 kilopixels. Let's hear the stories. How will the boiling points of these organic compounds be affected? Choose from increase, decrease, or remain the same. So do the boiling points increase, decrease, or remain the same if we lower the vapor pressure? Well, let's stick to the definition. What is boiling point? Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So you are essentially increasing the vapor pressure so that it reaches the atmospheric pressure and we say that we have reached the boiling point. Essentially, if you are lowering the atmospheric pressure, you will reach a boiling point way sooner than you would under normal circumstances. Right, maybe for water, the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. So if you lower the atmospheric pressure, you would reach the boiling point, let's say at 80 degrees Celsius, way before what it usually is at 101 kilopixels. So this would actually make the boiling point to decrease right this is the first time i'm actually coming across a question like this but i'm quite convinced that decrease is our answer in the 3.5 if you have any other ideas just let me know in the comments and let's talk about it apart from that which video do you want me to do next